Wamo Breakfast. The voice of the creative economy. With Vincent Herringer. Well, the uh, real groove uh, is no longer. That is the magazine, of course. But um, hitting the streets is the new look groove guide, much larger in an A4 size. It's uh, got Fat Freddy's drop on the front. It's the first edition of the new look, so it's a good time to um, talk with Vincent Herringer from Tangible Media, who put it all together um, about the new groove guide. Good day there, Vincent. Good morning, where mate? Yeah, and um, I must say, um, it looks really nice. I, I really do like the um, the prints on it. Um, it's kind of like a, what, you know, what's the what's the geeky term for the for the print? For the stock? The stock, Paper that's stock. it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's called an offset stock, which means that it doesn't have a, a coating on it. So it's, um, we wanted it to feel like a um, street press newspaper. So going back to the days of newsprint, and yet at the same time have um, a high-end premium kind of feel to it, which yep. is why we've gone with that paper, which is very popular at the moment amongst fashion magazines and, um, and people who want to, I suppose, have a nod towards the past and yet retain really high production value. Mm. So nice balance there. and It's quite interesting. You know, It's like wearing an analogue watch after digital has been popular. Um, everyone touches and goes, ooh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. It is, it is that thing. We do still want something nice and tangible in our hands, even with the websites and um, and uh, the iPad apps and everything. We still want something like this, don't we? It's kind of strange, isn't it? But mm. we are tactile creatures. You know, touch is one of the senses. So um, the other great thing about a print edition is you can it's the portability and the the fact that you can grab it on your way out of Real Groovy. I was down at Real Groovy yesterday and saw the piles of. Um, of copies there, and they say they always run out by by um, Friday. So I need to get them some more copies, and especially with this new one. Yeah. But you can pick up Groove Guides. We've got 500 outlets around the country, and what we're trying to do is, um, you know, just try and find the right distribution points so that um, all the country's groovers can pick it up. Mm. So you'll find it in most record stores, lots of fashion stores, Hell's Pizzas, um, Burger Kings, Marbex. That kind of stuff. Cafes and whatnot as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, trying to get them, yeah, lots of cafes, tr- really trying to get them thinking about bus stops and, you know, I want people reading it on the train and on the bus and so mm. on. So would, it's got that kind of time out feel to it. Where, where, if, you, where uh, if you came from Melbourne, London, or any other um, sort of big city around the world, you, you wouldn't be too unfamiliar with that concept at all, mm, would you? Exactly. Yeah. We, um, we did uh, grab a few um, before we, you know, relaunched, we had a look at. Um, the successful publications in Sydney and Melbourne, but also we gra- grabbed some copies of Time Out um, in the UK and, and um, Village Boys from New York, and it's kind of amalgamated a lot of the thinking behind those really successful publications. And isn't it ironic how, um, you know, at the same time as people are closing down newspapers all around the world, the, the street press is thriving. Yeah. One. And, so that's what we're trying to tap into, we might. What One thing um, with those successful publications in Melbourne and, and Sydney, uh, I notice, is that they also have um, the print version online as well as a PDF. Right. That you can view, or a PDF-like document. Is yeah. there any plans for that with the Groove Guide? Yeah, yeah. We, we sort of have internal arguments about that because all the content from the magazine goes up on the website. Well, that's our intention as the website cranks up. We've sort of got stage one on the website, and later this week it'll be finished. But... Um, all the website goes up and as as blogs, posts, and um, as articles and reviews and stuff. So we are we do actually argue internally. There are uh, some people that really want it up as a PDF and as a what you call a Zinio document, where you can flick through as a yeah. magazine on screen. And other people within the company who say, well, that's bullshit because you know you could just read it as a blog post. So we, we're at um, we we don't really know. Well, what, what, what would you want? I mean, you could have you could have both. Why can't you have both? Well, then, why not? Then you're providing it in as many different forms as, as people want. I mean, it, there's no cost to, to do that online, is there, really? Not really. No, there's no, no great cost to putting a PDF online. There is a cost to having that, that um, what's called a Zenio platform, which is where you can turn the pages and um, uh, sort of zoom in and out and, and make the ads come alive and stuff. So we might look at that. But my main priority really is to get the content up there. So we'll do a newsletter, a weekly newsletter, and um, just um, working on the iP- iPhone and iPad app now, um, which you know should be out. Um, I'm hoping um, certainly this side of Christmas is the plan. And then work on an Android app. How about how about that? Well, I think we've got to, whatever we do, we need to make them um, 
you know, across all all platforms. You can't have we've got to be platform agnostic. So the same content has to be accessed from lots of different devices. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and and there's been, um, there was a few obituaries for um, for Real Groove. Uh, any any further fallout for the for the ending of that magazine? Well, the really interesting thing to me is I expected to be savaged by people who are really affectionate for the publication, and I got one really angry letter from a subscriber, and that's fair enough. You know, he'd actually gone to the trouble of paying for his copy and um, and was a really committed reader. But on the whole, I was quite um, surprised at how pragmatic people were and I, I guess it, it's, um, it was fairly obvious that music magazines all around the world are, are struggling as the CD industry collapses and, and a new model is sort of emerging mm. or waiting to emerge I suppose um, so there was a lot of um, um, you know, I got quite a few comments from people saying geez what took you so long I couldn't believe that you were still publishing so, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and I think that's the same for lots of music magazines around the, I mean, it is sad but you know th- things it's called Change, Wemo. Cool. It is change. called Change. Well, um, the new Groove Guide is out. It's got um, Fat Freddy's on the front, and uh, you can pick it up as um, Vincent says in all those good places. Cheers, and Vincent. Check out the website, grooveguide.co.nz. Nice one. We'll see you next time. Excellent.